I am in Pro 2016 and I created a little test plan, put a terrain plane in it, and drew a deck. <coughs> There's a footing underneath and you see it has uh, move handles on it. You can move it around. The framing underneath, that's selectable. See it's got a move handle. I'm going to hit undo, put that back. I just wanted to demonstrate that uh, you can edit this stuff. <coughs> now in terms of uh, in plan view you have to go turn that layer on let's see that would be uh, I think it's footings deck post yeah there it is footings deck post see it's turned off in plan view by default uh, oh, whoops I can't see it where is it let me check that again did I check the right layer? Putting both will turn that on. I want to see framing, uh, framing deck post. I'm going to turn that on. See, a lot of these layers are, well, I don't see it. Ah, there they are <laughs> on the foundation level. Now you can select and, and delete these as you want. <coughs> I don't know what your, I haven't seen your plan, but I'm going to add a terrain plane to this one. Oh, I've already added a terrain plane. I'm going to have it uh, dip in the back, so go over here to uh, <coughs> elevation data. Quick and easy way to do this would be just put one here and set it to the default of zero. Zero millimeters. Okay, I didn't even notice I, I didn't even notice I was in uh, metric. Okay, now I'm going to draw another one in the back uh, duh. yeah <laughs> there we go and put it right under the deck <clears throat> uh, I'll modulate this one some uh, we'll set it to uh, minus 3000 I, I can't think in uh, metric units very well but that'll probably be good enough for my purposes <clears throat> now let's look at this in an overview yeah, okay. So, <clears throat> this way, I don't know what, what your plan looks like, but this way it's quite easy to, uh, you can click on those, see how it's selected, I can delete that. It'll probably, the software will probably put it back, but uh, if I want to get rid of those, I can. <clears throat> Even if it's just temporary, like this is kind of a, this, this beam here, we probably wouldn't need it. This, this beam out here is enough, and that's so it's it's up to you. You can uh, modify. See, I'm just deleting deleting these by lift, clicking on them and removing them. Now they may come back. That's quite true. The software will automatically try to put these things back, but you can control them, and uh, you send to this this to layout when it's a, when it looks like what you want. <clears throat> like this gap here, I'm just going to click on that and pull that pull that down. It's just a quick fix. Uh, I probably want to set this in the dialog box and get the ceiling height correct, but I'm just demonstrating here. You you control the software, and uh, you can control how these posts lay out and the and the footings and, and so forth. Okay, thanks for watching.